back to Geisa Gaming! Yeah! So this is another legendary rank match playing as Geisa and this is a special request to play with this colorful light skin. This skin actually from the sport event skin last time though. So I met the magician in the beginning. You know like magician has three magic ones right now and it could waste your time. So well, I'm just hoping that the magician cannot fully utilize it in the beginning. And yep, it's an early down. And this this match though, this match, the survivor all are team up. I saw the record, so they all are team up. I didn't expect that. And when I see this safe replay, prisoner said you're on your own. Well, let's we just hope it is just a joke to friend. If not, then it could bring your friends if though. <laughs> So that's my abnormal. I use it for the first time, which is very good. Yeah, this cipher has a lot of progress already. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna push them to rescue, and then I'm still checking around whether whether mercenary will gonna come or prospector will gonna come. Yep, mercenary did a clean rescue here, which means that you didn't body block and let the titaner work for the first rescue. Because you know, like the cipher machine is still five, and I just use my abnormal. So basically. Basically, you want to waste more time, you want to stall the time so you can decode. Okay, so Magician, get a hit, and then let me just put you over here. I saw somebody's coming, for Spencer might try to harass me, but no, no, no. Okay, so the timing is not right on the prospector side. <laughs> Another you're on your own, right? <laughs> I'm hoping it is just a joke, you know, like I, I said earlier, yeah, you can ruin your friendship with your friend. I mean like, I mean like, it could distract people, you know, when playing, they make mistakes, they already feel bad about it though. So, another rescue, another rescue, oh my god, I saw the magnet is coming, so let me just hit, and it will reset my attack recovery. I know, mercenary is, is, is taking my butterfly to cancel my death, and also like, you know, like helping magician in sort of way, you know, that's, that's how you help your teammates. Because when someone already took the butterfly, they can help the first victim to cancel the death of Isa and helping them out. Anyway, this is a safe replay. Yeah. That's why you can see like the orange highlight on the magician body after using the magic one. On the real match, you cannot see at all. So you need to pay attention on the blood trail. Only that. You only can pay attention to the blood trail when magician is using the magic one. Well, still another one, right? Yep. So actually, a magician right now, yeah, you, you will see that the magician is getting more popular right now after the buff. Before the buff, the magic one is only two. But actually, the first version, uh, magician actually has three magic ones. So they nerf it and then they buff it. <laughs> and now, uh, end up with three magic ones. So, okay, let me eliminate you. The cypher lab still four. And let me, again, let me tell you one more time. My bad habit is, okay, let me use abnormal first, right, like always. My bad habit is, when someone already died, and we still have plenty of cyber machine that need to be done, I tend to be, you know, like, getting too chill sometimes, getting too relaxed, and I was thinking that I was too confident to, okay, this is gonna be an easy win for me, I guess, because the first victim already died, the cyber, Still plenty, but then this is the problem here. Yeah. You know, like that's not a good um, mindset because you're gonna you're gonna let your guard down, and somehow yeah, somehow you could get kited by another survivor. So here's the thing, especially after the cipher has been accelerated, and you already use your abnormal many times. Because let's say you already use your abnormal two times, so for the third time, the fourth time. The amount of the progress, of the decoding progress, that can be reduced by the abnormal will getting fewer. It will it will have like some sort of debuff. I'm not sure what what, what percentage, but you can tell the abnormal will gonna decrease. I mean the the effect of the abnormal itself will gonna be decreased. So yeah, you need to be you know like you need to be really really aggressive too after someone dies especially when the cypher has been accelerated as you can see the cypher left now is only two because the cypher has been accelerated right after the magician already died 
that's that's the normal yeah that's that's the normal way yeah i mean after someone already died most likely cypher has been accelerated so this is the third time of the abnormal as you can see it's not it's not uh reducing the percentage as much as the first one obviously and then after the fourth one and then the fifth one it will be very small percentage so i think i only use like three times abnormal on this match Maybe next time I'm gonna show you yeah, another another round another round where I use my abnormal until fourth time and the fifth time and then the percentage that can be reduced is really really small after that. So basically survivor can rush the cipher even crazier. Anyway, anyway, this Luca can kite better. I think yeah, maybe Luca is one of the best kiter among the other. So I know, I know, the Cypher will gonna prime after this and Mercenary can go for the rescue. Again, that's why many people hate Knight though. <laughs> with the delay hit, with the delay hit. Well, Mercenary can be really annoying even though even though you're supposed to be down, but you still can go for the rescue. But the reason why you still can see Knight on my rank is because I always ban Seer and Forward. And why I banned forward instead of mercenary? Because I don't want to bring excitement on early game. I need my abnormal. Especially when there is when there is a decoder yeah, on a small map, it will be really really dangerous if I didn't bring abnormal at the first place. So there is no teenagers over here, prisoner gonna die, which is good for me. Let me change to teleport. Go to the other gate right away. Wait, 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 wait a minute. This is the blood rebel. Where the hell is the survivor though? Sometimes, you know, my hand is faster than my eyes. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> so, here you go. Come on. Ooh. That's, that's the elbow pad hit. I'm sorry, knife. You know like when Minasuni wants to use the elbow pads to dodge the hunter hit mob but you still hit them, that's really satisfying, I'm not gonna lie here though. So I'm still thinking, can I get 4 kills? Let me just fly to get a better view in case Prospector hasn't opened the other exit gate or let's say trying to rescue- Oh there you go, I saw your blood rail heal Prospector. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing over here? You gonna die, Frost! You gonna die! But perhaps just want to help their teammate because they team up, I think. So that's the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the commentary video and I see you again on my next video, yeah? Bye-bye!